Okay, welcome back. I'm really looking forward to doing this now um, because our situation is precarious and it's going to be a fun episode. I've just watched the map here before I started the recording and uh, yeah, we have a couple of problems to deal with. Um, this one. Um, yeah, we have Armfelt here. I want to s just spend a few minutes to talk about him because he's he's really interesting. I think I mentioned him in one of the early episodes, uh, but this guy is this guy. He's a real historical character, and he was he was he was a very very interesting guy. His he rose to prominence when I. Uh, he got the command in Finland. Now, in 1710, the Russians, the Russians started their invasion of Finland. That was after the king had, the main army had been defeated. The main Swedish army had been defeated at uh, Poltava in 1709, way out here in in the Ukraine, where where the Swedish king was. Now Finland lay pretty much open at that time because the Russians took the fort of Vipuri, uh, Vipuri in Swedish, Vipuri in uh, Finnish. Uh, in this region here, I will assume that this is supposed to be that fort, really. And that was the. It was kind of the lock to Finland because after that. Even Tsar Peter himself landed at Helsinki, uh, and uh, so he, he was in Finland at that time. In I think that was in 1713, but the Russians poured into the country, and yeah, now the cat is talking again. Uh, yeah, the Russians poured into Finland, and at that time, uh, Armfelt he got the command of the Swedish army in Finland. Now, Arm felt he, he was in a really bad situation because the army was kind of mutinous, they had uh, suffered setbacks, and the Russians were overwhelming and they had no food and nothing. But he, organi he reorganized them and uh, withdrew to uh, Pohjama, Ostrobotnia, Österbotten, here. I'm from here, these parts. So he set up at Vasa, uh, his command post. The Russians came along and I think the Russian general was named Golitsyn. He came along to, to occupy the entire country. So Arm, Armfelt marched out to meet him at a little village about here, Isokyra, uh, Sturchuru in uh, Swedish, but Isokyra in um, uh, finish and at that battle the Swedish did really really well although they were outnumbered and they um, um, they were well they weren't well equipped or anything it was a winter battle in February of 1714 the Russians though uh, they got reinforcements dragoon regiments and they 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 won the battle, so Armfelt again had to retreat and flee over to mainland Sweden here. Um, he was beaten in that battle because his own cavalry didn't act um, at, at the crucial point in the battle. It, it's a long story, but he was he was beaten. But he he had tried to defend Finland really as well as he could with the resources he had. Uh, he he was generally considered a good guy. Uh, after that, he got command. He took command in Sweden, and in 1718, when the king marched for to take over Norway, the king returned after a long ride through Europe. From actually, oh, I have a new mouse, and I'm not really used to it. Uh, the king spent several years in Turkey somewhere well in Moldavia I think it was a little village called Bender where, where he spent several years before riding throughout all of Europe and returned to Sweden 
Now when the king marched for Norway, Armfelt led a, um, a detachment of uh, soldiers over over the mountains here towards Trondheim. Yeah, that's Trondheim la right there. I think I explained this in a previous episode though. The king died actually at this this very fort here. Fredrikshald. Um, the king died there. He was shot through the head. So they gave up the siege of the fort and returned. At that point Armfelt also returned over the mountains and it was a disaster. M I mean thousands of Swedish soldiers, probably Finnish troops involved as well, um, f just froze to death over there. It, it was a disaster. It's one of the great disasters of, in uh, Nordic history. So yeah, that's a bit about Armfelt and his career. He, he um, after the war, the war ended in 1721 with the peace of, uh, is that Usikaupunki? New start in Swedish Usikaupunki in Finnish. It's somewhere around here, here-ish, north of Åbo, Turku, here. So yeah, Armfeldt returned to Finland and lived somewhere here in southern Finland for the rest of his life. He died there. He's buried in a church somewhere here. I don't remember what, what or where, but in a little church here. So there we have Helsinki. Helsinki is nothing at this point in time. Um, Helsinki actually became the capital of Finland d during the Russian period uh, later on when uh, the Russians actually took over Finland officially. After the Battle of Na uh, Napue here, the Battle of Isokure, which I told you about earlier here, uh, the Russians took over all of Finland and uh, held it under a military administration and it was it was very brutal very brutal it's in Finnish hi history it went to went down as the Isoviha uh, the uh, how do I can't translate that the great anger something like that Stora uh, Ofreden in uh, Swedish well the great well, I don't need to translate it, just, well, it's very, it's a negative word. They took over the, all, all of this country. The Finns themselves, they fled into the forests, as, as they usually do when it's a crisis, or they fled the country. Many, many actually fled over to Sweden, over the ice packs and in little boats and stuff. I have a, I actually have a, an ancestor. I found him in my... Uh, uh, genealogy research. He lived on a little farm out here, north of Vasa, somewhere al along the coast here, on a little farm. He had a very big family. He sent his whole family over to Sweden to live as refugees, uh, but he himself, he stayed on. When they came home, they found him dead. So either he had starved to death or the Russians had killed him. But that's, that's how man dies. <sighs> yeah, so I think this period in Finnish history it lives on even today, and and I we kind of it's kind of ingrained in the soul of us all living here. It's uh, imprinted on us. This, although it's three hundred years ago, this great anger still. Uh, it's still in here. Yeah, and the Russians, they left in 1721. After having burned down the whole country, everything was pillaged. Everything. No people left, no nothing. Everything all gone. All, everything plundered, brought to Russia. Lots of prisoners taken, as, even <coughs> as slaves. This new capital here, St. Petersburg, it was built by Swedish, Finnish, Baltic people as slaves and the upper class as if the Russians captured uh, like uh, um, uh, well officers and um, well educated people, the upper classes, if they captured them they were architects and uh, 
and uh, and uh, well, um, what's the word? I, I well, I know, but this this town or city, as it is today, it was built by war prisoners from the west. So Tsar Peter, he was not a very positive person in um, Nordic history. We, we don't remember him very fondly. The Russians though, they remember him fondly of course, because he, he was the one who set the foundations for the Russian great power. He brought the, Russians, uh, the Russian borders out to the Baltic Sea and created a navy. He, he, he made Russia great. But we, we don't remember him very, very fondly. <coughs> Nor do we remember King Carl very fondly. He was a... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. He was a kind of a madman. Although... He has many dimensions to him. <sighs> yeah, that's a bit about the... The story here, again. Hope it doesn't bore you. I've spent several minutes just explaining this now. Okay, we're going to get back into the game because I'm really looking forward to it. It's early Saturday morning here. Wife went to work and I'm just sitting here. I can sit here and play all day if I want to. But... Uh, I don't know. I would like to start a Euro, Euro truck simulator let's play as well. The new DLC is coming out on December 5th, and that's on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, but I, I might start that let's play today. Just do a couple of episodes. I think that game is very relaxing. Well, enough about that as well. Now let's see. Okay, so we have a situation. We have lots of Russian detachments and two major armies coming in there and some smaller raiding parties, parties there. We also have a rebellion here. We are trying to reinforce the army in here. Uh, we have a bit of money. I'm going to put it uh, towards reinforce, reinforcing the rest of this army here now. That's going to take half of our income. Then I also want to reinforce this uh, if it's at all possible. 4,000 for... Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. <sighs> they are very damaged from the fighting we've been doing. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Because the thing is, I can't return this to St. Petersburg and go for uh, Riga uh, or Kurland yet. Because we have another major Russian detachment coming in here. Mostly infantry though, yeah, some cavalry. So I need to, and I really want to do this too, I have to divert Magnus here, north. And then we're going to do a major sweep with him through Arkhangelsk and ost Sysolsk and Kazan here. So we're going to do our expansion into Russia like that. But first, I need to send him to Pet Petrovskaya to counter that army coming in there. And if they don't attack, I'm going to attack them. But I would like to reinforce him, so I'm going to send him here. <coughs> We're just going to stay here for a while. I will reinforce like half the army here now. Like so. Now we have 1,500 left. Not a whole lot. But there's not a whole lot to do with the economy either. So I might actually re recruit some regiments. Now, as for this situation, I've been thinking about this. And I checked it too. I don't think this town is within range. Oh yes it is. But I'm going to attack them now. I am. They are numerically superior to my army. But I, 
I don't think they can beat me. I'm going to attack Hanofa just to try and push them out of the war. So we can liberate this army for operations in the east. Right he here we're just going to sit and wait. We might want to oh, do it like that. Uh, like so. Not a whole lot of troops in there, but I we have to we just have to hold on until the army comes over from Denmark. Because when we are beaten Hanofa, it's going to be a very quick ride to over to the east here. We'll use our navy for so we have to push Hanofa out of the war. I don't think we can get a peace treaty with them. I think it's the same crap. They want Denmark and that's it. Yeah, you're not going to get Norway either. So I'm refusing. That's it. Now we're going to attack him. This is a, well, win or lose situation. But I need to do it. I need to push them out of the war. We are what? They aren't reinforcing, but we are still... How come? I have a far better army than him. How come our odds are that bad? Okay, well, we're going to fight it anyway. See you on the battlefield. Okay, here we are. Um, it, I'm not really... Mm, comfortable with the mouse wheel on this one. It's a cheap mouse, but it's uh, it's a wireless one. Uh, I wanted that because the cat has a tendency of sitting on the mouse cord, and kind of blocking my movement. Now let's see. That's on one on limber. I think this is a perfect artillery situation here. We have yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. So we have Armfeld today. His first battle in a while. We are going to do a. Ah, okay, we have one more, but I'm going to put that. No, not like that. Okay. There's only two of them. This regiment I'm going to put on my left. I want to get in behind him, um, try to take out as many as possible because that's going to help us in the peace negotiations. We can kill as many of them as possible. Let's see now, that's all my infantry. This is a good army. It's rested. It's fresh. Good quality regiments. I don't know why our odds were so low. Perfect artillery situation or position. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I love it. I'm going to march my infantry up here. Take the battle like in this this location on the hill. Yeah, awesome. Armfelt over there. Oh, I forgot to group the infantry. That's fun. That's so much fun. Yeah. Control 3, I think. Yeah. Okay, and the deployment. And let's get the guys going into the forest there. Now we're moving. It's vital we, we get behind him. Our artillery is already working. Some good hits here. Oh! Yeah, that's a good, good hit. Oh no, he has raised the pikes here. I don't like those because if you run into them with your cavalry, you're going to suffer. Let's get these boys up in the woods here. Oh, we have something threatening on our flank there. Gendarmerie. Yeah, 
they're coming into the forest here. Come on, boys. No, I did that wrong. Shoot them. Cavalry in forest is a bad idea, Hanover. Okay. How are we? We're good. We're good. We're very good. Let's try to take these boys out now. Level too low there. Yeah, what? yeah, good job. Good job. Let's get out of them. Get in line. No, not you. You are going to follow those. I meant you. Jeez. Christ. Are we shooting? Yeah, we are, I think. I hope. Let's get out of them. Yeah, I don't like how the mouse wheel is. I'm just used to, to the other one. We're beating them already. Um, I need to get my cavalry in there now. No, the pikes. We have to watch out for those. I need to let those guys go now. Where's the? F Sorry, I was about to use the F word. Come on, take them out. Now we're running into our own fire as well. So that's always good. Just because they're going slow. Bloody disaster. Just because they're going... Yeah, this, this ain't working. This did not work out as planned. Need to need to retreat. Back to here. Go. Come towards my line instead. Go. No, don't attack. Of course you have to attack. Can we get out? Okay, in you go boys, in you go. No. You're supposed to cease fire now. Up and down. My best battle, I must say. I've screwed it up pretty badly. But okay. What happens? War is a mess. Yeah, here they come. Get out. Get the guys back here. Guys, okay. No, I'm 
going to move the entire infantry line up. The cavalry has done well though. Don't drive into the spikes there. That's not a good idea. familiar with this miles now I must say I'm having a hard time than I should be controlling this. Stand ready with the cavalry to pursue them when they are dead or when they're going. General bodyguard Yeah, he's trying to fool me onto the spikes. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm for you now. No, I'm going to you. He's going to try and tr make me go for the spikes. That's it. I mean to oh god, no. Jesus. Bloody artillery. Shooting at your own guys. Very close to the spikes, I don't like it. Yeah, there's his general too. I can't go for him now because that's No, 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 no. Stupid idiots. Look, now look at that. I can't follow beyond this because they'll kill themselves. Because they're stupid. <sighs> okay. Yeah. That's it. I can't do any more. I can't go through this. There's no going around and he'll be out before I can get here. So that's the battle. At least we won a good victory. I'm going to end it. End it. End it here. Decisive. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, well, it was kind of good. I did a couple of really bad mistakes, but that's a good result. And we killed a lot of them. So I, I'm... I'm good with this. I am. Because it's going to be much easier now to take take on the big the big thing there. Um, I should have killed Balthasar there. Okay, there goes the timer. So that, yeah, that's a good this is a good episode, I think. Oh, what do we have in here? Uh, lots of stuff really. Some pikemen though. Um, line infantry, county militia. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a kind of a so-so army, but he has good cavalry though. A really good cavalry. I think we're going to try and put him under siege. That's going to be the big battle when we're going to fight everything Hanofa has. And it's going to be a really hard battle too. Yeah, yeah, we're really outnumbered there. Um, now let's see if we can get him to do a peace treaty. We beat him in soundly in one battle. If we're lucky, he will go for a peace now. Because I don't want to take his territory. 
I really don't. I want him to remain alive still. No, nah, he wants Norway still. We have to continue the siege and do the really big battle. He'll surely sally out in the next turn here. But that's going to be a good battle, I think. I don't want to take his territory, but if I'm forced to it, I will have to do that. Um, because that will put me in a bad position. It's going to be like a bulge into the continent and I'll border Prussia, Austria and uh, Holland here and I don't like that, not at this stage anyway because they'll all become very aggressive but I need to end the video here, thank you for watching, see you next time